Okay, today we're going to take a look at how we can recover files from a USB drive for free without having to pay for extra services, the size of the files, or how many files you need to recover. So let's take a look at what we have. So let's jump into our PC and we see we have a small USB as the E drive and there are no files on here. There's no hidden items, but we did have pictures on here. Let's get them recovered. So what we're going to do is we're going to go our web browser and go to cgsecurity.org. And there are two options that we have here, test disk or photo rec. I'm going to download test disk because test disk also comes with photo rec. So we'll click on test disk over here. We'll click on 7.1 on the right. And then we have the option to download the beta 7.2, or we can go to the stable release, which is 7.1. I'm going to download the 7.2. It's been out for a little while and there hasn't been any major changes to it. So let's get that one. Okay, yeah, let's extract that. I'll just drag it to our desktop. So the first option we have here, we will go through with Q Photo Rec. So there's two of them. Photo Rec underscore win. This is the command prompt or command line version of Photo Rec. And this one's the GUI version. So let's go with the GUI. It's pretty simple. So we're just going to go up to the top and we're going to select our USB drive. We see that it's a FAT16. Select whole for extract files from the whole partition. And then this is important. You don't want to save the recovered files to the device you're recovering from. The issue is, is if you start writing files to the place that you're recovering from, there's a chance that the files that you're currently recovering are going to overwrite files that haven't been recovered yet. So when it comes turn to recover those files, they may have been overwritten by files that you've just recovered. So make sure that you don't recover to the device itself, but something else, maybe an ex another external USB or to your desktop if you are trying to recover files from a USB. So I'm gonna select desktop here. We'll right click and we'll create a new folder called recovery. Now, once that's done, we can select file formats here. I'm just going to go for everything. I know that there was just pictures on here and one text document. So everything on here and we'll select search. Perfect. Recovery is completed and we can see which files were recovered. So let's go and navigate to our directory. So desktop recovery and it creates a directory here called recoup. And we can see here that it has recovered a few photos and a text document. So this was a homework text document and some wedding photos. Okay, so let's take a look at the other way that we can do this. We'll close this up. Go back into test disk and we'll do test disk underscore win exe. This will run as administrator. This is a little bit more advanced. So select no log. We don't need to record anything for this as we're not recovering any large partitions or anything like that. We'll select our small USB drive and we'll select which type of partition it is. Test disk will usually detect which type of partition it is. So the one that is currently selected is usually what you're going to go with. Sometimes it'll be on EFI and sometimes it'll be on Intel. Usually I just go along with what test disk has detected. From there, we select advanced for file system utilities. And in here, you'll see the type of partition and some options at the bottom. We're gonna select undelete. And we can see here that there are additional files 
that were not recovered with PhotoRec. So let's take a look at those and recover everything. So we can see some instructions at the bottom. We can select A to select all the files, then a capital C to recover the selected files or copy them, and then a destination for those files to go. So let's go ahead and click on the left key. That's going to bring us back to our desktop and we're going to go to the recovery directory and then we're going to select a capital C again when the destination is correct. The destination that we have here is where I want to recover to. So the copy is done, 13 OK and zero have failed. So let's take a look at what we have in our recovery directory and let's compare what we have in this directory. So we can see here that our photo recovery only recovered four photos and two of them are the same photo. Let's see what we have in here. So the more advanced option did recover more photos. We did get this one, we did get this one, and we did get this one. These two photos were not recovered with PhotoRec. Our homework file was recovered with its name intact, and we did get a file history directory, which has nothing in it. So that is how you can recover some files with Test Disk. It's free. There is no limit to how much you can recover, what type of file you can recover, and there's no need to pay for additional licensing like some other softwares. That's why I use this application. So if Test Disk did recover some files for you that were important and you feel like you need to donate, go ahead and do that. You can just go to cgsecurity.org and you can donate to Christoph Grenier. I'm sure he would appreciate it. I hope this video has helped you and recovered some files for you. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.